Hello, my name is Undead. Today we are going to learn how to add a video into Rec Room Studios, including we are going to figure out how to add buttons such as play, stop, pause, and unpause. The first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we have our hierarchy all set. You might see that this right here is still up. We want to first find our video, add it into our assets. I already have one. It's right here. It's just a goofy little video, but we're not going to play it. Instead, just get a video, mine is a mp4, drag it into the assets, and then once we have that, we then want to go into our hierarchy. Make sure that you right-click, go down to UI, and then find a canvas. Once you have a canvas spawn done, we'll call this video, video, on here. So after call it video player, we then want to focus in on our canvas. We want to next, once we have it selected, we want to go to the right side, look for canvas, and your inspector, by the way, and your inspector, go to render mode and change it to world space. Once you have it on world space, we'll be able to change the size of it. So I want to change mine to 100 by 100. So I'm going to do that quick and scale it down just a little bit and move it into a better area. So I'm going to put it right there. Once you have it in a good spot that you want in your room, by the way, you will be able to change the positioning of your video player in the future, but we are just putting it in a good spot at this moment. We then want to right click on our video player. Go back to UI and look for raw image. Once you have your raw image, we will call this video projector. So this is going to be how we will be able to see our video. So we'll call it just video projector. So there we go. Video projector. Now that we have this in the, in a little bit we will be changing the size of this video projector or raw image to our image but we will go to the next part next part we need to right click in the uh, hierarchy again create a empty this is where we are going to put our video so call it video once you have created video we then want to go to add component. We want to look for video player. Once you have video player up, we then want to grab our video that we already have in our uh, file, grab it, drag it to the video clip, and that's where we will be able to change or put our video at but we won't be able to project it onto our video player component until we get ourselves a render texture. So we want to right click in our file, create, go down until you find render texture. So I'm gonna call this video mask because this is where it's going to mask the video onto the video projector. Once we have this, make sure that we want we want to be able to find the width and the height of our video. Go to the file that you have your video in, right click it, go to properties, and then I already have the details of right here. Have, find your frame width and frame height minus 640 by 360 but yours might be different so 640 by 360 640 now like before this is going to be how we are going to mask our video onto the video player next up like earlier we need to change our video projector 
to the same width and height as well. We'll do 640 by 360. Might have grown it just a little bit, but I am fine with that. And then we want to go back to the video. Just video. You want to move our video mask to the target texture in our inspector video mask. Now that we have that, we then want to go back to video projector. And we now want to put our video mask onto our texture. Notice that it has turned invisible. It turned invisible only because it, there's no video up yet. It hasn't played, so you won't be able to see it. Now that we did that, I recommend everybody uh, moving the video inside. Be like a child, like be a child to the video player component. Do that. Now it's under under video player. Close this, and then move the video player inside of our um, file so that it does this. Now we just made a prefab. The next thing that we are going to be doing is we are going to be add the, adding the rec room object component onto our video. So first of all, you need to click on video player, add component, rec room, studio, studio object, search up studio object. There we go, studio object. Recommend putting your physics mode at decoration. And now we are going to get into the fun part. We are going to add our events that will allow us to play, pause, unpause, and stop. So this will get a little repetitive, but stay with me. So we want to go to the bottom of the studio object component. Find Unity Events, we want to add an event. This one we'll call Play. We'll add another one. Play, pause. And then we'll add another event. Unpause. Unpause, there we go and stop all right now that we have all this we are now going to be adding the the executions to be able to play pause unpause and stop right, let me just close them down now for each and every single action i just keep it open because why not we we'll just keep them open. We want to add one to with the little plus signs underneath the unity of up. We're gonna do that. We are then gonna put on our video, just video, not video projector, video into each of these objects. So video, 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 and video. Now we're going to add the event functions. So we want to click on the no function. Now we'll see no function game object transform and video player. So we are looking for play. So play for that one. So now we can close that. We want to look for pause for this one. Pause. Then we want to find prepare. This is just pretty much unpause. And stop. So stop. There we go. Now that we have all this, we need to add one more thing 
well, two more things. Two more things to our video player. We need to get ourselves a canvas interaction. So in the add component, we want to look up in this interaction. It should be right there. We don't want it to be interactable. So just keep this off and we're not going to anchor it. And then we're going to add a box collider. There we go. Now, because I mean mine 100, uh, I'm just going to change my size to 100, 100. There we go. And now that we have all that, we should be able to see in our maker pen objects how our video player is a rec room object. And you'll see up here that we also have a chip, which is our uh, object board, video player, play, pause, unpause, and stop. So it has created the object board perfectly. So we are just going to upload to RecNet. Let it validate. And no problems. So I'm going to upload this. And after it's done uploading, I'm going to click on test sub room. Now I'll see you guys over in Rec Room. I'm back in Rec Room. So have our video right here. Now it's not going to pop up like this. It's going to first just be blank. I had it test whether or not it works and it does work and if we were to do something like this if we execute the play it plays the video for us if I pause it's gonna pause it unpause I must have gotten that one incorrect so my apologies on that one and then stop so if we play, execute, it's just going to do that. It's going to stop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I much appreciate if you like, subscribe, and if you have any questions in any way about building, whether or not it's Rec Room Studios or even CB2, Please don't don't hesitate and ask me whether or not you need any assistance with anything else. But other than that, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.